watch the video. They call it the game vice. It's kind of like a vice for your gadget. In this case, the iPad mini tactile controls. It kind of turns your iPad into a more traditional gaming device. What is this? This is like some high tech next level portable gaming. It's like if the Game Boy grew up, you got all your favorite games on iOS and now you have tactile buttons so you can really catch a feel, catch a vibe, do a little racing, place a little wager. Okay, so the cool thing here as well is that there are lots of games available that use this control scheme by default, all right? So it's not like you're in there mapping things out. Hello? What's happening? Jack is so mad that you just called because we're in the middle of filming a video. Fuck. Can we, Ryan, can we keep the line? Like, we're still rolling here with the language. Oh, shit. Uh, sorry. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, yo, you know what? It's, uh, it's all good. I'll call you guys back later, Ryan. It's not, I just, uh, anyway, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> but I don't want to fuck up Jack's G. I feel terrible, actually. Still I with the language? Know. Still with the language? We're trying to use this in the video. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry. Okay. Let's. JUMP INSIDE THIS BOX! Look at that. Woo! So there's the actual unit. I'm gonna place that to the side for a moment. A micro USB cable to charge it up. I think that's it. That's all you need. You know, you've got your lightning connector right there. So your iPad mini is gonna slide in there. Our micro USB port to charge this thing up as well as a headphone jack. Trigger. Triggers and shoulders. Just gonna slide that baby in there like that. Stretch that out a touch right in there. It's giving me some suggestions for this accessory. So I would assume these are games that the App Store itself has vetted to be used with the game vice. There are a lot of different controllers out there, wireless controllers and so on, but you still gotta figure out, hey, what which games work best for it? You can see they've suggested some of their favorites. Here are new games that support this. Now the cool thing about sound here is it gets ported out the front now through these grills here. All right, here we go. Golden State, Cleveland. Draymond can carry the ball a little bit. There's Steph. Let it go. Ball! Splash! The experience here is super close to what you would get on a console. If you played a game on a console, this is like your own little portable console. I gotta build my own car here? Oh, okay, here we go. Oh yeah. Look who's out in front. Second! It's a banger right there. Jack, you can freestyle on top of that. I bomb atomically, Socrates' philosophies and hypotheses. Find how I be dropping these mockeries, lyrically performed armed robbery. Oh. Oh, I'm going on the inside. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh! Every so often, something shows up here that I really think solves a problem, makes something better, an accessory that makes some sense. This one does for me. I know a lot of people, a lot of kids who have iPads, you know, they're not really getting that classic gaming experience. I mean, you get a little grip on it. You get invested. You got your Xbox grade thumbsticks on here. I'm not saying it replaces a console. I'm not saying it replaces a PC gaming rig. This is for people who have an iPad and want to take it on the go, but they want to take a better experience on the go. I don't know, there's something nice about having a handheld with a screen that big. I felt special for a minute, all right? 